This is Sean with Gate City. I'm on a job today in Archdale, and what we've got going on today is we've got a clogged culvert pipe. And so this is a 12 inch concrete culvert, and the property owners are saying that the water comes down this way, and it comes down this way, and it's overwhelming the pipes and it's clogged up. And so if we take a look over here, we can see that the whole thing is clogged up. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to replace it, or actually we're going to add a 15 inch. And so let's take a look at the way the land is kind of laying right here. So right now the culvert is going from here across. And so I think a better run would be from here straight down here. It would kind of split these two up. And so I just talked to the property owners. We were going to pull this, this concrete one out of here and put the 15 inch in. But since we're going in a different path, we're gonna just leave this one here. It's not gonna hurt anything, and we'll have a little bit of extra gravel to go over top of the new one. So that's what I'm working on today. And I wanted to give a shout out to Vance with Central Carolina Cleaning, who, who referred me to this job. Okay, I'm just test fitting this culvert here and I like the height over here but I think this could come up just a little bit so you can see we're quite a bit deeper here and we want to be up a little bit so we have a nice clean discharge area so let me get a little bit of this loose fill underneath the pipe and get it up a little bit
Okay, I just got the pipe bedded really well and I used an axe right there to kind of pack it around the underside of the pipe and then I stomped it in there and I did it in several lifts. So you don't want to just pile dirt in there and then try to compact it. You want to compact it in small increments. That means that the pipe's going to be really, really solid. And so as tempting as it is to throw this in the ditch and just cover it with dirt, the weight of the dirt may, may give the pipe a bend to it. So it's always a, a way better install to bed the pipe before you backfill. So I'm good now. Let me go ahead and get this covered up. I did want to show you before I got this all covered back up that we've got way more than a full bubble here. So check that out. So we're flying. It should show up pretty well on the camera though. I got everything covered up and then I tracked over it. You are allowed to cross a culvert with a tracked machine perpendicular to it. And so it works really well to pack it in. So a couple things I wanna clean out here at the exit a little bit. And then I also wanna clean some of this organic matter that has accumulated in here. Get a little bit smoother pathway into that new pipe. This end of the pipe needs to just be cleaned up a little bit. So let me just kind of blow this out of here and we're flying downhill. Okay, there is one culvert installed. Here at the inlet side, you can see that I got it cleaned up pretty well. You can also see 
just how clogged up the old one was. So it started getting organic matter in there and then the roots went for it and that just compounded the problem. So that thing is just as solid as can be. But we now have a nice big 15 inch right next to it. So I also really like the more diagonal Instead of trying to go this way, we got a little bit more fall as well. The only thing it took was a little bit longer piece of pipe. So this is in really good shape now. All right, I've got a tiny bit of water left. Let's see if we can get this water to go through this pipe. This corrugated, this double wall corrugated culvert is good stuff. It is smooth on the inside and that's what makes it rigid. So there we go. All right, let me get loaded up. I hope you all enjoyed this short video even though it was a small project. If so, you know what to do here. And I've got a bigger culvert project coming up at some point, so stay tuned for that. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one.